what's up guys it's Ricky so today guys as I promised last time in January that I would be making videos about Japanese horror so today is gonna be our first Japanese horror story so now this first story it's not scary depending on who's watching this so if you get scared easily I don't suggest you watch this video you might just wait for my enemies worth watching that's coming this month people so you know if you don't like scary stuff I recommend you don't watch this and if you're wondering why does this video look like this it's not it's not your computer it's 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 my camera okay all right so right the first story I'm gonna be talking about I'm only gonna be talking about one story so okay so one okay I'm sorry one Okay, the first story I'm going to be talking about is about these two Japanese couples. So, they're in the countryside of Japan. They're in their car, they're riding, and it's very dark. It's like a, a very deserted area. So, there's not many people or many cars that's passing. So, they're just on the road. They're having a conversation about... The guy, he confronts the girl, he's like, oh, are you thinking about your ex-boyfriend? And the girl's like, oh, no, I'm not thinking about him. And then they got into a little argument. And then they stayed quiet for a while. And then the girl said, I'm hungry, you know. You know, girls, there, they always want to eat. So he told the, the guy, I'm hungry. So the guy's like, I'm hungry too. So they're, they're looking for a place to go eat in a deserted place so they see a noodle place it's closed so they just kept on going now as as they're driving there is a car in front of them the car is going very very slow the guy's like why are they going so slow I don't get this so he just decides to go around the car and then the camera you know glimpse away over there you know looking at the cup at the car that was going slow so they kept on driving on and then they find another place to eat it's a noodle place so they see it they stop by they go inside and then they're the only one inside a noodle shop nobody else is in there just them so they sit down the chef only one person's working there the chef comes on to and says what you guys will be having they're two of the couples are like we want noodles you know like in the chowder so we want freaking noodles and all right two noodles coming up so they're just waiting and then and then all of a sudden some people walk inside the store they went all the way in the back they want to go sit all the way in the back then the chef brings their noodles why while they're eating their noodles the girl looks down at the table is it they have a writing that says don't look the girl's wondering what not to look at and the guy's like this is probably just some prank they're playing on us so they just kept on eating on then the chef walks over he comes to them he says whatever you do do not look at the family that's sitting in the back so now they're like why why not the chef said please just don't look back there so they're eating their noodles they're kind of scared now the guy tried to look back but the girl said don't look the chef said don't look the guy's like okay fine i won't look then as they're eating their noodles the guy looks down he sees water on his feet he's like where did this come from and then all of a sudden you hear two child voice say, let's play. And then all of a sudden it just, they, they, everybody just froze. The chef had his head down. The, the couples had their head down. They were just looking down at, the, at their floor while there's two little kids saying, let's play. That's, it's creepy. It's freaking creepy. I'm telling you. So the, the girl's telling the guy, what should we do? What should we do? It's like, let's just, let's just leave this place. How are we going to leave? He told us not, the chef told us not to look at them. So, 
as they have their head down, they still have the conversation. The guy brings up the conversation about the ex-boyfriend. So the girl got mad. She put she hit the table and she looked up. She looked up. She saw the family that was sitting back there and the kids. And then they left. They got in their car. And then they started droving off. As they're driving, they keep on going back to the same road. They, they, every single time, as doesn't matter how far they're going, they keep on ending back the same place. They keep on driving the same place. So the car breaks down, and the guy tries to fix it. And the girl is like, don't leave me in the car. The guy's like, come on, don't be such a baby. So, the girl's in the car, the girl looks over there, He's, the girl sees a car, and guess what? It's the family. They're in the car, and guess what? Guess what? One of the kids came from the back of the, the seat, and that's where it ended. Now, this story is, you're wondering about the family, you're like, so the families are ghosts. Yeah, they're ghosts. They died in a, it's, it's like a suicide. They committed suicide as a family, like on a nearby lake, a nearby lake. So, and then the thing is, they always go to the noodle shop. The noodle shop, that's, they, that's the only good memory they had. So they, every single time they go to the noodle shop, every single day. And guess the the chef is the only person that knows and the people that's come over there. So guys, this is going to be it. I hope you like it. I'm going to have these every single month. I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and give me a little comment in the comment section below. It would mean a lot. And guys, I would recommend you guys watch this anime. It's called Another. It's it's a very good anime. I started watching it um, last week, and uh, it is very good. It's it's in a, it's it's scary for me. It's scary for me. It scares me. There's just watch it for yourself. You'll be scared. It's a really great anime. Check out another guys and guys. I have another thing to tell you guys. You know, anime people, the creators, they create their anime. They want you. When they have DVDs, mangas come out, they want you to buy it, you know, so they can make money for, like, the next season of stuff, you know. I'm just saying, you know, if you really like an anime, I really recommend you buy it, you know, or some merchandise. Because I have a whole lot of anime stuff from anime conventions. You're not a true anime lover if you've never been to an anime convention. Just laying it out there. So, guys, this is going to be it. New anime is watching. Six coming out this month soon enough i won't have any fingers to be putting up for anime worth watching so we're just gonna have to use our pinkies our toes well guys bye